Google Voice. Google Voice is just voice.google.com and it's a great service that will allow you to route your phone numbers around. So as you create your account, you'll be able to go in and choose your number and enter in a PIN. So this is your security code, accept their terms. And pick a phone number that you want and you can forward that phone number to any phone that you like. This is what's beautiful about it. So they'll call you with the confirmation code and once you have that in and set up you'll go into settings and you can see that I've got a few numbers listed here. You could add phones in that you would like. You can create custom voicemail greetings depending upon who it is that's calling you. You can record your name and send your voicemail over to your email. You can forward your voicemail to cell phones. Um, you can get your voicemail transcribed and then as far as calls go you could say do you want to always screen everything or not you can set it to display your Google Voice phone number whenever you're calling somebody else and you forward that call so you can't make a call out really from Google Voice but it connects to one of your other phones so it acts like a bridge of a phone and you can customize the group so you can have a custom voicemail greeting depending upon which group it is that's contacting you that's pretty exciting under the call widgets, you could just get a little thing to stick on your blog that says, hey, you can call me and here's my little thing. And it, it won't reveal your number, but it'll put a little widget on your site. I don't really use that feature so much. Billing is essentially free anywhere inside the U.S. However, if you are messaging out um, to China, Mexico, etc., it's going to cost a certain amount to make that connection happen. So you'd have to charge it up. And then you could also go in and set your time zones. So... If you hit the inbox, you'll see here I've got some text messages and voicemail messages that have come in. And underneath, I could click in this area to call or text them. So I could start typing a text message and hit send, and it would reply to Kimberly. Or I could hit call and choose which phone I want it connected to and make it dial to Kimberly. And under more, I can add a star or block her or add a little personal note. I could embed this somewhere else or download the voicemail transcript if I wanted to. Uh, so those are just some different options of what you can do with it. If they have a Google profile set up, you'll see their picture will also display as well. Starring messages, just save it a message that might have been one of your favorites and you can easily get back in and take a look at those starred messages. The notes are just kind of more your own personal things. And... Um, as you are going through and checking the other settings, you can see that here are my groups that are listed in my Google Contacts. And so under Contacts, this hooks up with my Gmail contacts or other contacts that I have. You can navigate through and easily see what your voicemail inbox looks like, the text messages, all of those things. You can invite a friend, and um, overall, it's just a really great application to make use of. It's a good way to route your calls around. In the top left, you'll be able to call and text to various people and you can pick out which countries you're sending it to and again decide which thing it is that you want to um, which phone it is that you want to dial it to and start typing their name and it will automatically recognize them Google Voice solves the problem if you change your number often and how to route those calls around so get in it's open to the public and free now